Welcome back. Today wraps up a month long series with Rainya Harris featuring seafood recipes that have been so delicious. Yes, yeah. and perhaps she is saving the best for last. So here's Rainya showing us how to make seared scallops and a tropical fruit salsa. Take it away, Rainya. <laughs> Good morning. Well, this is the last segment in March on all things from the sea. But I want you to know that I picked another one of my all time favorites today. And this is to saute big, beautiful, luscious sea scallops and top them with a wonderful fresh fruit salsa. I'm thinking the end of March, maybe fruit's going to be a little better, I hope. But I'm thinking towards summertime and warmer weather entertaining, even though it's probably light years away. Okay, let me tell you about the scallops. Super important. All scallops have a muscle. It's very easy to identify, and you want to take that muscle straight off because it's tough and you don't want to be eating it. So I'm going to do one more. You see how much whiter it is? You simply take this and you discard it. And you don't want bay scallops for this recipe, folks. You definitely want sea scallops because they're a little bigger and you want to season them with a little bit of salt and you want to season them with a little pepper and then you want some olive oil, good fruity olive oil already heated in a saute pan. And as you can see, I'm using a smaller pan here because I don't have a lot of scallops and you want to put them right in the pan and you don't want to move them until a crust, if you will, forms at the bottom and that way they won't stick. If you recall, we did the same thing with our bourbon glazed salmon. We were very, very careful when we moved it. So this one's being a little uh, uncooperative, but I got them. And these are mostly all the same size, so they should cook rather evenly and talk to you now about my salsa. Here I have chopped red Bermuda onion. Here I have a chopped red bell pepper. Wonderful color going on here. And here I have chopped fresh mango. You can buy your fruit already cut, but then I need you to dice it even smaller. And I did the same thing with my cantaloupe. You can always substitute papaya if you don't want cantaloupe, but I love the flavor of cantaloupe. And pineapple. So yes, this was a definite cheat. All three of my fruits, not my pepper, not my onion, I went ahead and bought in those containers that are fresh in the supermarket and I just dice them a little bit more on my own. Now, I'm going to add jalapeno, and how much you add is really up to you. You don't want to overwhelm it, but you can always add a little bit more if you think this hasn't have enough heat to it. This is cilantro. Again, some people hate cilantro because it's really a genetic thing, believe it or not, and they think it tastes like soap. That's okay, you can substitute fresh basil if you don't want the cilantro in here. Now, at this point, I would like to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You can add a white wine vinegar. I happen to have champagne vinegar. That's a wine, I'm gonna add that in next. I'm gonna add in some olive oil, not a whole lot. And I'm going to come back to my scallops because I think they're ready to be flipped. You can see how that crust is formed. It's exactly what I am looking for. We're going to flip these over. Yum is all I have to say. Take a look at this. Putting all the scallops on the plate and sprinkle some of the salsa on top. As you can see, I made extra salsa because I like it on all things fish and chicken. Garnish it with some cilantro, and there you go. Great, great, great quick dinner. Well, I'm Renya Harris. That's the end of Fish and Seafood for the month. Misha, love you, and bon appetit. 
Oh, we love you too, so Rania. Good. She is speaking my language. Like it's really. I, I want to just head over to her house now because that looks so good. You should go. No, I need you to do the rest of this show. But just the salsa alone, that was my favorite part. Oh, the scallops so were my favorite part. But then you put them together, it's like chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, Perfect I, combo. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, look for the recipe for today's dish at PittsburghTodayLive.com. We will have it posted for you there.